everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New Orleans State Palace Theater for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a nice clean fight. All right, touch off. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Blocked by Chua. Nice block by Bad Intentions. There it is! Chua's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Come on now, guys. Keep busy. Come on. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Committing upstairs now. He goes there again. Nice block by Bad Intentions. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves about confidence and really it's the opposite in some ways these big giants they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage they're also worried about damage being done to them frustrating his opponent with great defense <laughs> out very well the counter punch landing by Ruiz <laughs> late goings here of this round and he goes down can he survive it From a big shot now he's got to have some big guts to move along you're going to find out exactly what he's made of and the round comes to an end we did have a knockdown in that round now teddy if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor what are you telling him well the first thing i do is i sit him down i get water on the back of his neck you know i bring him to a sense i make sure that he's clear and everything and then i tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it and he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch there's the headshot but he parries it away what a good counter punch by ruiz ruiz has got to prove a few things here number one he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fighter's in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it.
takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Nice block by Ruiz. Well targeted counter punch by Tua. Smart counter punch by Tua. Halfway through this round here. Oh, and there you go. Ruiz is in bad shape. Tua's doing a good job of just creating some space there, just pushing off. Ruiz's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back under him. Another one lands. Good job on the two punch combo by Ruiz. Blocks away that headshot. Solid counter punch by Tua. in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Last 10 seconds. we come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Excellent counter punch by Ruiz. Locks that belt line well. Good block. Good block by Ruiz. Place counter by Tua. Tua's really in a groove right now, landing that straight punch. Well, what he's doing is he's staying outside at the right distance. He's getting his opponent, you know, sort of lean in a little bit, and then bang, that straight shot is right there. Side and working well, he just stunned his opponent. And his opponent got caught wide because he was standing on, in front, not apart. doing punch nothing. On, if you're not going to work, get out of range. Don't let your opponent work. He was stunned, but now he's surviving. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Ruiz. What a chin. And can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And another shot comes in. You're taking too many punches. Hands up. Tap. Tap. You jab. Stay away from the inside. Time. Ten clicks of the talk. 
Wow, is he defensively sound. Targeted counter punch by Tua. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down, blue and red corner, what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. right back at him with a left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. to dismiss that body shot. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Blocks that punch. Punch combo by Tua. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. by the hitman. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. <laughs> On the mark, the counter punch by Tua. Ruiz is sitting here wondering why he's getting hit so much. How about this? You're not moving your head at all. Well, how about don't wonder about it? You weren't taught that probably in the gym. You didn't work on that in the gym. Well, it's not going to come to you suddenly when you're in the arena. by Ruiz. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. 
He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. And a well-placed counter by Tua. Keep your distance. Range. Beat him to the punch. job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by Tua. Tua's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Now that's some fine work right there by Tua. What an excellent two-punch combo by Ruiz. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Certain don't stand in front of him. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab, hook. Here we are at the start of another round. A round that could simply add on to a new direction and a new course that this fight has taken. I really liked what he was able to do in that last round. Now he's behind on the scorecards, but you get the sense that the momentum is starting to roll his way. Well, you get the sense that it's starting to become his kind of fight now. Nice block. That's a good block by Tua. Trading right hands. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Very clean offense from defense by Tua. the headshot, but he parries it away. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Good block by the hitman. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. 
Double jab by Tua. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Ruiz. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Very clever move there. Well, defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Tua. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Good block there by the Hitman. Seconds to go here in this round. Good two punch combo by Ruiz. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Nice block by Tua. Punch after a fine defensive effort by Tua. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. A fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. out of it there he was stunned nice block by Ruiz well placed counter punch by Tua oh that's gotta hurt Tua's in a bad spot right now he's been stunned Ruiz is mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Thinks we're going against him. Now the tide is turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered. Good things are happening. Solid counter punch by Tua. Scores with the combo to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. 
Two has got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Well placed counter punch by Tua. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Ruiz has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Committing to the head work, you see him go there again. Good block there by Ruiz. Trading right hands. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. Tua's proving to be elusive. Last 10 seconds. A good block. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. So we come to the end of the round. And that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing. And remember what set up those big shots. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Ruiz. Well-placed counter punch by Tua. Tua's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities. And he's gonna... There it is! Tua's been stunned! Ruiz is showing some real cuts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but Keep somehow busy, he has now. gathered Keep momentum. Busy. Yeah, he behaved like a fighter. He got through the tough times, and now guess what? Good times in front of him. Nice two-punch combo by Ruiz. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good block by Ruiz. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. What a good counter punch by Tua. Ten seconds to go in this round. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can 
eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomachache at the end. Somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end. Parries that punch away. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Good, solid double jab by Ruiz. Listen, he's still being highly competitive, even though you would have to think, if you're judging this fight at all, that he's way behind. Does that give him hope that still there's a chance that he could score the knockout and get this win? Yeah, because his attitude is still there. He hasn't given up on himself. And as long as you haven't given up on yourself, you always have a chance where one punch can separate that guy from his consciousness. Solid counter punch by Tua. Guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Well-placed counter punch by Tua. Blocked by bad intentions. Final 10 seconds. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. On the mark, the counter punch by Ruiz. And a good counter by Tua. Turns a sender, he gives him back one of his own. Parries that punch intended for the head. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it in every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. That was not well targeted by Tua. And a nice combo by Ruiz. Nice block by Ruiz. Able to cover up that gut. Good job 
Cobb with another left hand. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Good block there by Tua. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Place counter by Tua. And a good counter by Tua. I like the way that jab is doubled up by Tua. Great shots, he comes back with a right hand. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Blocks away that head shot. the trigger again <laughs> halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see just great action no it's unbelievable I mean if you love roller coasters you go to an amusement park if you want to see left hooks right hands every direction great chins Great endurance, great heart. You come to this fight, you stay right here. Keep working the body. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Stay away from the inside. Good defensive skill with the block by Bad Intentions. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Well placed counter punch by Tua. Well, which way did it go? That is the question everybody wants the answer to. The man with the answer is standing in the ring, and here he is. your winner he gets the nod by split decision hey if i'm a commissioner in this state i'm calling that judge in and i'm saying hey explain to me how you had this decision it was a good one indeed and for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us we'll see you next time at the fights